Taking on the Reds, Bronson Royal. Wow, two wins in his last 14 starts. He could use all the help he can get. Ryan Friel there to oblige. Nice diving catch to Rob Jock Jones. To the ninth, Cubs down four to three. Jason Kendall, his first RBI as a Cub, brings in Angel Pagan, and we're tied at four. David Weathers blows his fifth save. Next batter, Mike Fontenot. Base hit, Jock Jones trying to score. Ryan Friel, the bare hand, and a tremendous throw. Pretty nifty tag by David Ross to preserve the top. Bottom nine, runner at second, Edwin Encarnacion. Brings in Norris Hopper. Reds win 5-4. Brewers gain a game on the Cubs. For this season, so the Diamondbacks throwing Yusmero Petit at the Braves Friday in Phoenix, and then Jose Valverde, who is on, was a major league leading 15 one-run saves in the ninth, 7-6 game. You know, Escobar on a close pitch walks, and then nobody's walking. He's going down to second. Hello, let's pay attention, people, shall we? Watch Glenn Harbert, first base coach, tells Escobar, oh, there's nobody over there. Man's off the, the mound tying his shoe or something, and off you go. And just like that, Escobar in scoring position. These are the kind of things that will haunt you every time. Three, two counts. It's Willie Harris, loop single to shallow center. Escobar moving on the play. We're tied at seven. We're going to extra innings. Bottom 11, still 7-7. Seven, seven. Get the game over with. It's a no-fix Friday. Tony Clark, deep left walk-off home run. The buffet table is now open. Let's eat. Clark's 10th of the season. Dimebacks going to win it. 8-7. There is joy in teams. Who's your Padre? San Diego's lost 6-7, taking on the Astros. Pitcher Jake Peavy in the second. Base knock up the middle, ties the game at one. Next inning, Woody Williams finding pitching ain't easy. Milton Bradley, pretty sneaky sis, makes it three to one, his sixth of the year, his fourth with the Padres. PV 0 and 4 in his last five starts, but he and his pitching coach tweaked his delivery Friday, had a higher arm slot than before, which is what I think you were going to suggest earlier. We and talked about it, I know. And he had it going, rock and fire. Eight Ks in seven innings. Padres win nine to four, they're half back in the D-backs in the wild card. Red Sox double race, Boston 3-0 so far in the 18-game series with Tampa Bay. Tim Wakefield 16-2 in 18 career decisions against Tampa Bay. Never has lost at the Trop there. Carlos Pena, the butterfly, no good. Akinora Iwamura, whoops, hits his teammate, Yana Navarro. Navarro out, Iwamura, he gets a single. We go to the six, two on. Joe Madden, he takes Jason Hamill out of the game. 88 pitches, kid allowed over one hit. Juan Salas comes on, Kevin Euclid. He likes to hit off Juan Salas. Tenth homer for Uke. Wakefield's going to be 17 and two now against the uh, Devil Rays. The Sox win it 7-1. Nationals Mets. Moises Alou making his return to New York's lineup. They've been gone since mid-May with a strained left quad. One for four at the dish. Out in the field here, trying to chase down Dimitri Young's fly ball in the second. Does not make the catch, but does not get hurt. Next batter, Ryan Church facing Sosa. Jorge Sosa, Church. Well, after Young doubles, Church doubles. Nashville up one nothing. Brian Schneider, he doubles. Church scores. North Logan, he doubles. Schneider scores. Uh, that's four doubles in the inning. Three nothing Nationals. And on defense, they had some doubles as well. Paul Laduca grounds into the double play. Five four three. Ronnie Belliard, the nifty turns. The Nationals going to win at six two. These two three and three so far against each other this season. Kenny Lofton traded by Texas on Friday back to Cleveland. He was in uniform for his new old team against the Twins. First of his several ovations from the fans on Friday, but he struck out looking against Boof Bonzer in his first at bat. Am I the only one that thinks of Team Wolf when I hear Boof? <laughs> Facing Johnny Peralta, do it for Johnny. A three-run homer, first of his two homers. He went two for five, five RBIs, five nothing Indians after that. 40-year-old Kenny Lofton making his first career start in left, and how many times have you seen it? Sports Center edited it to make it look like you think he gets we did a chance. Yeah, he also had three hits. Welcome back, Kenny Lofton. In Hi, me. Win, 10 to 4. Tigers Angels, division leaders, Central and West. Jared Weaver on the bump, throwing the pill over the dish. Top one. Tigers up 2 0, though. Weaver facing Craig Monroe with the base. This is just going to be a terrible frame. With two out. They're going to give up six and no Gary Madden.
Matthews Jr., the phenomenal grab. That man, he just saved four runs for Weaver. And he helped him out by driving in three. Here's some in the bottom of the first. Nate Robertson, who was 0-3 all time against the Halos, gives one up. Vlad scores. Angels, a six spot in the first, in the six. Weaver still alive, but just could not get Placido Polanco out. Rock pile shot, fifth of the season. Tigers within two at 8-6. Polanco five for five. Chad Durbin then in the seventh. Well, it was tough to get Matthews out as well. He was three for four, as I said, three ribs. Angels are going to win this by a count. 11-6, there's Casey Koshman getting dirty. Same. Well, game of interest beginning 7.05 Friday night. In Philadelphia Phillies. Pirates. John Ben Schoten on the mound. If you're missing his last start, work on his mechanics. May need to do a little more work. Pat Burrell filled Einhorn with oil and gill. Makes it 4-0, a two-run shot. Carlos Ruiz in, fly ball, deep left center field. That's down, stays in the park. Two bags, Greg Dobbs scored. Philly's now up 5 nothing. Look at Dobbs hustling. He's trying to beat the rain, I imagine. Still in the third, big third. 6 nothing. Phils, one out faces Chuck. Jay Roll, I like to say this is how I Jay Roll face it. Jamie Moyer scores. Philly's up 7 nothing. It went at 8-1, rain short and game done after seven innings. In an effort to replace injured second baseman Chase Utley, Phillies have used the White Sox as a temp agency. Team acquired Teddy Aguchi for a minor league pitcher. Aguchi hitting 251, solid there on defense. Utley expected to be out a month with a broken hand. Steve Levy, he's in the business now of talking trades. 5-4 coincidence that Bud Selig wasn't there and on his way to Cooperstown? Perhaps. There's Bonds getting ready. Going to get an A-B in the first inning with two outs against Rick Vandenherk of the Marlins. Fastball low and away. Mike Riley says ball one. Mike Riley says ball two. Then he says strike one. Bonds didn't like that. Talks it over. Do something about it. 2-1 pitch from Vandenherk. Hank, don't look. He's right behind you. Crushes that one to the deepest part of the ballpark. Number 754. Go change that flag down at City Hall. As he chases Aaron, 754, one away from 755. It's the 131st home run Bonds has hit in the very first inning. Oh, yeah, the commissioner and baseball number 754 have both left the stadium. 20th home run of the season for Bonds, and he got all of that. Just flat cranked it. So he moves from the doorstep of history to knocking on the door, and he only needs to knock one more time. Bonds did not hit a home run in his last 18 at-bats, but gets that one. Family on hand, nothing better than having a daughter because they are all daddy's girls and she is happy, happy. Bonds then receiving congrats from the dugout and actually offering it as well for the folks that are helping him get out of that slump, working on his uh, swing. And then as he heads out left field for the second inning, acknowledges the fans who standing O's for Barry every time he came to the plate in this one on Friday night. Bottom third, BB, second AB, Van Herc. Uh, yeah, that's ball four. Not messing with him this time. Bonds walks. Vandenberg boot. That would be a theme into the third. Bottom five. Giants trailing 5 2. First pitch from Vandenberg. Bond swings through 93 Monarch fastball. And Ray Durham, apparently, he was watching Bonds like the rest of us because Miguel Olivo picks him off. 2 1 pitch. Bonds fouls that one. Just missed. But you know what? It's hard to swing when you're going blind from thousands of flash bulbs from those folks trying to get a piece of history, a picture of it. 3 2 pitch. Uh, high outside Bonds walks, and as you can see, uh, he might want to get this over with. Didn't let on afterwards, but I think he, he would like to get this done. Bottom six, Bonds fourth at bat. Raynell Pinto doesn't even mess with the strike zone. That's ball four. Take your base. So if you're uh, scoring at home, Bonds one for one, three walks. It's a 12-8 game. A lot of scoring in this one. Miguel Cabrera here. Defense by Omar Vizquel. That's just silly. I mean, this guy makes great plays all the time, but this, I would think, maybe gets into, I don't know, the top one. Vizquel, he's going to Cooperstown someday, and it's not for hitting home runs. He's even smiling. You know when you do well out there. Bottom eight, Taylor Tankersley. Bold. Throws to Bond. Strike one. Mike Riley calls that one, so he's down 0-2, but later in the bat, Bonds works it to 3-2, full count. Tankersley, deep breath, and not even close. Ball four. Another at bat turn plate appearance. Giants win it 12 10. Here's Mr. 754. Yankees and Orioles trying to finish what they started back on June 28th. That day in Baltimore, the Yankees were leading 8 to 6 when the rains came. Here's how they got the lead. Top eight, tied at six. Derek Jeter. Man, it is raining buckets out there. Two runs single, 8 6 Yankees. That's when they stopped it. So let's pick it up 
there on Friday. Right. Here we go, top nine. Alex Rodriguez, 499 homers. Although if he had homered on Friday, it would be his 493rd, all because of rule 10.23, which is my favorite, by the way. But A-Rod grounds out to short. Bottom nine, Mariano Rivera on to close, gets Miguel Tejada. We're out number one. Two batters later, uh-oh, Ramon Hernandez. Pinch hitting and coming through. Corey Patterson scores, and the Orioles down just 8-7. Rivera had to get five outs to close this bad boy, and he did. Brandon Fahey, the chopper to second, and the Yankees win this suspended game, eight to seven. All right, we got that out of the way. Here now, the game that was scheduled at Camden Yards. A-Rod, 20 career dingers in 69 career games at Camden Yards. First A-B, Jeremy Guthrie walks him. A-Rod getting the Bonds treatment. Maybe someday A-Rod will break Bonds' home run record. Who knows? In the third, Ramon Hernandez again. Same guy, different jersey, coming through. Singles off Andy Pettit. Two run score, two to one Baltimore. First sellout since opening day at Camden Yards, and they got a good performance from Jeremy Guthrie. Gets Derek Jeter looking. Then Bobby Abreu grounds out to first to end the fifth. So the rookie getting out of a jam. A-Rod up again in the eighth. Contact, but not good enough. He went 0 for 2, couple of walks, still stuck on 499. Home half, Kevin Millar, 13th career homer against the Yanks. The O's have won a season high seven straight games at home. They win 4 to 2. Beer makers and the Cardinals in St. Louis. These two played a dandy seven game series 25 years ago. Bill Hall recently off the DL. Cardinals pitcher Mike Moroth allowed 10 earned in five innings in his last start. Billy Hall nicks him here. J.J. Hardy will score. Prince Fielder. Love when Prince gets up ahead of steam. Yeah, just get out of the way there. Brewers led 3-0. Hall 3 for 5. Two runs, two ribs. Top four, 5-0 game. Corey Hart. You gotta have Hart in baseball. That is a home run for him, his 15th, and the crew leads at 6-0. Moroth goes only four innings, seven earned. The Brewers end a three-game slide, win it 12-2. Mariners trying to snap a seven-game losing streak, taking on the A's, bottom three. They're down one-nothing, but Adrian Beltre, big two-out knock. Base is loaded. Everyone comes home to score. Mariners up three to one, sixth inning. Felix Hernandez, King Felix, they like to call him. Through a season-high 120 pitches, that one was pretty good. 97 miles an hour past Marco Scudero, two outs, bases still loaded. Donnie Murphy, Adrian Beltre, a great pick there. Seven Ks for King Felix. He's 3-0 against the A's this season. And apparently, my homeboy has a new movie out. I like to just call it uh, Sideshow Bob's Cavalcade of Whimsy, number 10, <laughs> Flanders. 93, Thanksgiving Day, Leon, let it be... Yeah, Dolphins, they missed the field goal, and Leon screws up, and Dolphins get it back, and they kick it, and then they won. At number nine, Mike Piazza, when he was a Dodger, fly ball to right, Larry Walker, when he was an Expo. Routine grabbing, that'll end the inning, but not before the damn Uh-oh, wait a minute. Just two outs. You're going to need that Stupid Canada. Back. You're going to need that back. Walker gets the ball from the poor kid. Poor kid. Poor kid. He's probably still scarred from that. I got it later. That's probably why they moved. They're in Washington now, huh? Number eight, Plex Burris makes a 19-yard grab. Either the Steeler then celebrates by spiking the ball. Unfortunately, hadn't been tackled or touched, so that's a fumble. But you know what? Maybe if he had a donut, you'd have thought of that, right? Oh, donuts, the perfect food. At number seven, John Vandeveld, 1999 Go! Go! British Open. Three shot you on 18. Oh. He just Go! just totally, totally Go! blew up. Cost and yet he feels better job. because Patty Harrington and Sergio made a mess of it just this past weekend. Go! Number six, Marco Yarch, excited to get in the game. Tears off the warm-up. Reveals that he's got it on backwards. I'm surprised this has never happened to Darko Milicic because he didn't get him very often. I did that once and I actually wasn't wearing pants. Just whipped them off. <laughs> very scary. At number five, Kentucky coach Guy Morris, now coaches at Baylor, getting the Gatorade treatment. We call it Gatorade. The problem was Go. LSU Go. had the final answer, Go. a Hail Mary to beat Kentucky. Go. Baylor's so good they had a... Uh, all-America punter last year, Daniel Sepulveda. So that worked out great. Don't sleep on the guess. Bears. Number six, number four, Chris Weber. I made a mistake, but I didn't call timeout. 1993 NCAA championship. 
Game on the line. Michigan down two. And guess what? Dean Smith's going to get another national championship. Both of them down there in the Superdome. There's C. Webb, and you know what? He, he, the man lived up to that and lived on well beyond it. He didn't let that define his professional career. Fab Five, though, uh, not so much. Leon Lett making a return appearance. Super Bowl 27 picks up the fumble, and he's gone. But Don Beebe tracked him down. And as Homer put it, you tried your best and failed miserably. The <laughs> lesson here, Go! never try. Mm, duck Go! beer. Homer always has looked a little jaundiced to me. I don't know if you ever noticed that. They're sort of yellow. yellow. Could be. All right, enough, Homer. Number two, Jose Canseco. Uh, this got some votes for number one, naturally, because it, it conks off Jose Canseco's head. That's definitely a go. Oh, but then it's a Homer. Get it? Uh, why isn't that number one? I don't know. All because right. they're not letting Tony, the, the studio director down here, do these things. Okay, here's number one. Steve Bartman. Go! Interferes with Moises Salou and maybe it's not a homer. And maybe the Cubs' chance at a World Series oh. berth. Poor guy. Hopefully he is he has switched from an iPod to the Walkman. Yeah, and I'll lose now a Met. Oh. Good for him.